going to get the train to the north of Italy to Verona and then Milan. If you want to watch Rome's vlog, it's already on the channel, so go check it out. I'll link it down below. And yeah, let's start this trip by catching the train to Verona. But we are going to see the streets and then come back to the to the station. <laughs> At least we can see a little bit. Oh, we take it slow. 60 on the freeway. Are we so much? So guys, siamo arrivati a Verona. This behind me is Porta Nuova and yeah, it's the entrance to the city. That's all I know. <laughs> at Piazza Bra and it's so so beautiful look at the buildings behind me they are so colorful there's a garden here the statue of Vittorio Emanuele II that is everywhere in all cities in Italy and we are going to see the arena that is right here as well but we are really happy because it's really beautiful yeah. All the trees have like yellow leaves, so it's really like bringing, giving us a like autumn vibe. It's very beautiful, it's a vibe. This is a yes. very cute vibe. What do you think? So far, excellent. Some people asked us why Verona and not Florence because Florence is closer to to Rome and we did five hours, five hours, four hours? Four hours. Four hours of traveling to come here but we prefer to visit uh, Verona instead of Florence because um, it's not that common and we saw some vlogs and we loved it. We just felt more attracted to Verona yes. than Florence. Someday we'll go to Florence, okay? But for now we are here I'm, and I'm loving it. Loving it so much. today is a little bit cold uh, and it's very cloudy we don't know if the sun is going to appear or not our Airbnb hosts they have two cats and one dog and one of the cats is so so cute he's very fat and his name is Chicho that means fat in Italian he's really really cute he came to our bed and we ate a really good breakfast now we are going to the first place of our itinerary, that is uh, Casa di Giulietta. I'm wearing a skirt, but 
I think I might regret. <laughs> We are here at the entrance of Juliet's house, it's right here, from the famous story Romeo and Juliet that happens here in Verona. And there's a saying that if you touch Juliet's breast, you'll have luck in love. So yeah, we did that. <laughs> the entrance of the patio is free, so you can see the statue and some other things that have uh, on the patio. You can also see the balcony, but you can't go inside, you need to pay to go inside. And you have access to the balcony from the inside, and uh, Juliet's tongue as well, and the house inside. Next stop is Romeo's house, so let's go. So this is the house of Romeo, uh, apparently someone lives there, so you can't go inside, but it's really beautiful from the outside. Okay, this is getting impossible because <laughs> in every street, every corner we want to take pictures because everything is so beautiful. What were you doing now? I was taking a picture before a car almost hit me. <laughs> See, every street we go, we take pictures because the decorations of the buildings and the colors, beautiful. And today the weather is not the best because it's super cloudy. Imagine this city with a good daylight, like sunny, beautiful. Very, very sunny, blue yeah. skies. It would make the city pop even more. Yeah. I mean, yesterday it was sunny when we got here, mm -hmm. and we could see like the sunset and the golden hour, you know. We are back at Piazza Bra, the one we've been yesterday. It's so beautiful. Yesterday was already evening, behind me there's the arena, they do a lot of concerts during summer. To go inside the arena, it's a little expensive, um, it's 17 euros, did you say? It's around that, yes. So we are not going inside, but you can see from the outside it's really cool and it's a whole vibe. This piazza, I think it's my favorite piazza I've been in all cities you have the arena and these buildings they are so colorful and yeah have a whole vibe <laughs> We saw a store now that had a lot of things of Harry Potter, Harry Potter, <laughs> and it was really interesting. We would love to go to the studios in London, it would be really really amazing. I hope one day we can go. At this time of the year we like to watch Harry Potter, right now we are on the fourth. The fourth we take a long time because the movies are very long, so we only watch one per day. 
<laughs> because sometimes we get tired but yeah right now we are going home because I'm regretting my outfit it started raining earlier and I was getting really cold because of the rain on my legs and I decided that I need to change clothes but I only brought one jeans because I didn't know it was going to rain and be this cold uh, so wearing the same jeans again but it's okay We came to Castel Vecchio, we came by the river, it was really beautiful, but it was raining a little. Now it's not raining anymore, so we are going to see a little bit of the patio of the Castel Vecchio and then the bridge that is right on the side, and yeah! Now we took the funicular up to the castle San Pietro and we have this amazing view to Verona. It costs two euros and a half if you want to go up and go back down and if you only want a one trip ticket it's just one euro and a half. I'm in love with this view! <laughs> now we are going to enjoy this view and going to that corner and take some pictures. Now that we are here, we are going to tell you our thoughts about Verona as we did in Rome. I think it's been clear from throughout the blog that it has exceeded our expectations. We saw some videos, some images, and that was what attracted us. But we didn't see half of what we found here in the city ourselves. And I think that just left us very impressed with the city, even though it's not a, a huge city. Uh, it has everything has cuteness or something every street every yes. corner has a little restaurant flowers balconies houses yeah I mean everything is really amazing that for me stood out the most I think for Rome we said like negatives and positives here it's really hard to find like negatives and like Rome that was very dirty here streets are very 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 clean another thing I really liked and it was the first Thing I noticed here a lot of people ride a bicycle that was the first impression I had when we arrived yeah. and it's not confusing to walk in the city you can get lost on the streets but you will find your way you know yeah. you will find cute spots you will find something you will like if you are planning a trip to Italy include Verona because yeah. it's not that common people to come here and you should come. for sure yes. yeah we will now put the camera away yes, because it's, it's starting, starting to rain. rain. <laughs> We're going to walk down from the castle, um, have dinner and then go to the Airbnb since yeah. tomorrow we're leaving early in the morning. To Milan. and this is the last time we see this view I'm sad so beautiful we 
are in Milan right now and it's freezing so so cold and it's raining oh my god bye <laughs> and this is the station is really really big look how high this is and it's so beautiful this is like the outside of the station what about now what should we do wait We are in Galleria Vittorio Emanuele II and we did the thing that we have to spin three times uh, on the pool, on the floor, supposedly. If you spin three times, you will get lucky. So, yeah, let's see. We did already the thing of touching the bull's testicles in New York. And yeah, I can't say yet if I got lucky or not. But every time there's an opportunity, we need to try. <laughs> now we are looking for a bakery that we saw. And we are going there before going to the Piazza Duomo. We have here our snack. It's called Luini. Let's try. 8 a.m. I couldn't fall asleep again. Been overthinking all the little things I said. We are here at the cathedral. And it's starting to rain again. But I don't think I've got the energy to move. And I go back to the dreams again. But I shouldn't be sleeping when it's still now and I'm stuck in my we wanted to go inside the cathedral, but now you need to pay. Uh, when I came here nine years ago, I went inside by free, I guess. Unless my mom bought some tickets and I didn't know. <laughs> I'm, I don't remember, but I have the idea that it was free. So yeah, we aren't going inside because I've been there. And it's not that important to go inside because we've been to a lot of churches during this trip, so yeah, it's okay. Now we are going to walk around the street on the way to the castle because we still have a lot of time. Our flight is only at 9, so we have the whole day to visit. I can't believe this. I came here nine years ago and everything was under construction. And look at this now. Brush my hair, always looking like a mess. Oh, and me, I could go and do the press. Give it a little more fit, I'll be set. And I hope that you'll miss it. I stay that now and it's stuck in my We are dying. We are set here somewhere on the street. Basically, we woke up at 6 a.m. and we had our train at 8 and we didn't sleep on the train because it was only one hour and a few minutes and then yeah we are very tired all all the other days were tiring as well so yeah it's an accumulation of tiredness we need to rest we need to rest we need to go back to barcelona <laughs> and for lunch we went to a restaurant that was really bad we ate pizza because it was the cheapest thing we could find and it was super greasy, filled with oil. Yes. It was so not oily. Um, the best. Oily and watery, like a mix of both. No, it was just greasy. No, my mine was 
in a mix of both because of the, the mushrooms. Yeah, it was just swimming in oil. It was not. Yeah, so now good. I'm a little sick. Yeah. I just need Coca Cola, but we can find them supermarkets. I don't understand. They don't have supermarkets. This is the place where we are at, like a random street. Mm -hmm. 